here at Tate, we do many different engineering designs for the cruise ship market. This particular one uh, landed here in Haverhill and we undertook the mechanical design and engineering for the chandeliers. So for the project we had four static chandeliers. Uh, these were uh, covered in crystals and LED but were not automated at all. Then we had the two performer chandeliers. They were the ones that were the most exciting uh, project to work on uh, because we had to uh, lift them up and down and then independently of those chandeliers we also had inside the chandelier a separate performer who could move up and down. We added into the ceiling some additional locating pins so that when the chandelier wasn't being used, it was secured on these pins. To keep the centre performer centred and safe inside the chandelier while they were being lifted up and down, we developed a special guide system within the chandelier uh, that would uh, allow the performer always to be centred uh, irrespective of the movement of the chandelier. Hi, my name is Cameron Dawes. I'm one of the integrators on the MSC chandeliers. We are currently standing in chandelier HQ. So the ones standing behind me are the four static chandeliers. They're going to be about six metres up in the roof, connected to the primary steels of the ship. And the two that we've already sent are performer chandeliers, where performers are going to be inside them. So on these chandeliers, total we've got about 20,000 crystals spread over the whole of the six chandeliers. Um, they're made by Swarovski and it's coming out really well. It's a lot, a lot of intricacies in terms of lining up the plates and getting everything to match up correctly. And these are getting populated onto a cruise ship that's going to be the third biggest in the world. It's really tight fit on the performer ones especially to make sure it all fits in the one unit. Only 5,000 crystals left to go and then next stop St. Nazaire. Salut, bienvenue à Saint-Nazaire. Welcome to the nearly finished Panorama Lounge. So seven tons of steel lifted later. All the chandeliers are up. We're nearly finished. Last bits of snagging getting taken care of this week. Hi there, I'm Etienne Olivier, Controls Integrator from Liditz. Currently we are on board MSC Europa, doing the first launch of Epic Consoles on MSC. There's one in the main theater and one in the aft lounge. Right now we are in the other venue, the World Theatre on the beautiful MSC Europa. During my time on board, I've been training the crew in both venues on how to use the Epic console safely with performer flying in both venues. The feedback that we've gotten from the crew on board has been fantastic. From the aesthetics of the chandeliers in the aft lounge to the simple user interface of the Epic console and to the careful consideration the engineering team in the UK have put into performer safety. I'm Luke Freebra. I'm the Programme Manager for MSC Cruises, uh, Show Multimedia. I've been working with Tate for the last year and a half on this project. And now we're left with these uh, lovely chandeliers. They are incredibly sparkly and lovely, but it's been great working with the guys. When you tell someone that they want to fly up and down in a chandelier and pour champagne from it, there was no, uh, no batting of eyelids at all. So we've managed to get there at the end and uh, it's looking great. We can't wait to see performers on it. All that's left is for the production company to come in and take the chandeliers for a spin. 